My brothers in Christ, may you all find yourself in the sweet, wonderful peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who greets you is your sister in Christ Sister Ruth, praised be the name of the Lord, beloved church, I didn't think that today I would record because I had no intention of recording today but I am here to fulfill my God will, Amen. The Lord commanded me to record and pass on the message he gave me yesterday morning while I was in prayer, and I would like to tell the church with precision and clarity everything that the Lord Jesus showed me. By the direction of the Holy Spirit I decided to retire for forty mornings of fasting and prayer in the dawns at the feet of the Lord, I went to pray yesterday at dawn asking the Lord to give me strength and renewal, so that I can continue to move forward on this journey in the narrow road, and so that I can continue to bear my cross that is really very heavy, I was supposed to completely disconnect from my cell phone but I can't, sometimes people want to talk to me when they go out to solve something. I am in this campaign of forty days of prayer at dawn seeking seek reserve of oil for my vessel, for some time we are weak as we also fight in prayer for brethren, so it is necessary to have this time of private communion alone with the Lord, yesterday I had a new experience with the Lord and I want to pass on what he gave me, I have moments of isolation like this when I prefer to stay in silence not talking to anyone. I'm very honest with my brothers I like to isolate myself away from people, processing everything because the one who fight for me is the Lord, not men, but while I was praying in the early hours of the morning, first I went to take a late bath to be cool enough to sleep, then I went to pray, and when I was on my knees praying for a while my spiritual eyes were opened and I saw a valley of hell, it was the first time that the Lord took me to the valley of the Christian and gospel music. I had seen it in vision in my room but he had never taken me there, and there I could see many singers of the gospel world who had sung here on earth and they were agonizing, I saw many singers who died recently, some died of covid, some died from cancer, some died from accidents, some died from various circumstances, some of these souls have been in this doom place for a short time, some a few months, some a few years of suffering and agonizing. They stretched out their hand to the Lord but the demons forced them to sing in the furnace of fire, at that time I felt so much compassion, I didn't listen to their music when they were on earth, what I know about these Christian singer is what people say, and the Lord told me, people said that they're in heaven with me, but look at where they are, it's lie, they are not in heaven, they are here doomed forever, I was there seeing them suffering, I looked to the Lord and said why are they here? The Lord has previously revealed to me about what's going on behind the gospel world, and he said they are here for the money, they are here for the fame, they're here because their hearts were in money and fame, they are here for the satanic record companies. These companies that produce their album had signed covenant with demon, and those who signed agreement with them have entered in covenant with the enemy, when they went to the record company they should have fast and pray for the grace and direction of the Holy Spirit of God but they no longer do so, and they no longer seek spiritual adornments, they no longer seek holy adornments, their adornments are luggage from Egypt, makeup, jewelry, high heels, glamorous clothes, but I don't receive their praises, and the Lord is revealing to me at this precise moment that he has rejected them, daughter, I'm not in it, tell my people to avoid their song, Revelation chapter 18 and I heard a voice from the heaven that said come out of her, my people so that you will not be partakers of her sins and that you will not be trapped in her sins, the Lord revealed to me several things, and one of the Christian singers who is alive here on earth has sacrificed eighty children for her to be famous, eighty blood of innocent children, she will have to respond before Jesus Christ, the Lord said to me I will allow the devil to kill her, I will give the order to the cancer demon to end to her, she will be desperate and will ask for prayer but I will not give her deliverance because her sins stinks in my nostrils, I will turn my back on her, many here on the land think she is from God, many think she praises Jesus, the Lord told me, this singer sings song that talk about me and talk about my further but it is not for me, and I saw the principality that inspires these people to write their praises, normally all the praise must be inspired by the Holy Spirit of God, tell them come of out of their sins as long as there is time. They are full of themselves and many of them are fallen in the pit, Masonic singer have no fear of the Lord they only care about fame, 
they are hypocrites, liars, the Lord is not in this, leave them church come out of here my people, Matthew 6 verse 20 to 21 says, instead store up treasures for yourselves in heaven, where moths and rust don't destroy and thieves don't break in and steal. Your heart will be where your treasure is. The treasure of these people is on earth and on the goods of this world, these people heart is on earthly things, all that matter is life on earth, they don't understand that we have to suffer on earth for this is purification by fire, they don't want to go through battle, they don't want to go through adversity, they don't want to go through ordeal, they don't know what it is like to sleep on an old mattress on the floor like the missionaries who do the work in many places in the world to win souls. They are hypocrites, but Masonic singer do not serve Jesus and the Lord told me to expose them, he warned that they will be furious, but the Lord told me to speak and I will speak even though I have my head and neck cut off like John the Baptist, I will speak as long as I live on this earth, I saw them suffering in the darkness of the underworld, the demons were forcing them to sing the same way they sang here on earth, and then the Lord took me to another sector of hell where I saw the gospel preachers, the satanic preachers of the gospel, they are celebrities in the evangelical world, I saw several there, the Lord Jesus did not give me the authorization mentioned some of them, and there are people saying that they went to heaven, there are people saying I had a vision of this pastor ascending to heaven, I had a vision of such prophet being received into glory, how will they be received in glory if they do not live in holiness, if they do not live renunciation, if they do not live sound doctrine, how will they be received in glory? They are Masonic and Satanist, how will they be received in glory if they do not want to go through the thorny gospel of the cross, of the sanctity and renunciation, everyone who is a friend of the world is an enemy of God, how will they be received into glory with their clothes soiled with prostitution, lasciviousness, adultery, fame, brethren, I saw the demons preparing to welcome preacher Kenneth Copeland in hell they were preparing a very hot furnace to welcome him in the fire of hell, because everything that he does is to suck the money of church of the Lord, he lead a church that doesn't warn about hell, he emit doctrine that teach to clean ourself, and he does not warn people about hell, he won't tell people to escape this place of torment that is more real than the physical world, I saw several preachers there and many will end in hell, I asked Lord why are they here, he said for fame for money and the goods of the world, I saw with my eyes innumerable souls in the wide road that lead to the pit, Jesus only took eight people to glory and they enter through the gate of his kingdom, but many were falling into hell, it's easy to fall there if you don't renounce the world, if you just live the way you want, if you confirmed to your flesh, if you keep listening to this lying gospel of the wide door which is the gospel of the antichrist, the gospel of the flesh, they don't preach against adultery, they only preach things that are good for your flesh, they make jokes about the gospel and talk jokes on the altars, shaming the gospel of the Lord, they stinks in the nostrils of Jesus, and he wasn't happy at all, he's sad about the situation of the churches because many are refusing to talk about hell, they are refusing to preach against this place, the Lord will demand innocent blood from them, so brother open your mouth preach against about this place.